In this video we're going to talk about where you can find WordPress themes and how you can install them. Finding WordPress themes is not hard at all. In fact, WordPress themes are an abundant source on the net. Just simply because WordPress is so huge now, it's an open source tool. Let me just show you a few sites that you can go to to search for these. Go to Google and there's a site called WordPress themes.wordpress.org. Just type in WordPress themes in Google and you'll find that WordPress provides you with lots and lots of themes. So depending on what you're looking at, you could be looking at a one column, two column, three column, or four column, or you could be looking at a certain color. Are you looking for one with rounded corners, you know, with the left sidebar, and this and that. So I'm just going to go and pick and choose some of these features here just so that you can see what we're looking at. So I'd like something that is a rounded corner. Something that perhaps is blue. Something that's an eye friendly color. And I'll make it say one column. So it's similar to a search engine but it's for WordPress themes. What I'm going to do in this video tutorial is pick uh, one or two or even two or three and show you how simple it is to install them. So just for testing purposes I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. So I'm going to click on download here and it's going to allow me to download it and just remember where you saved it to. Uh, so I downloaded one and let's say I want a different one, let's say I want a red with two columns so I've chosen the red one and let's say that I want to choose this so I'll click on download and I'll click on save and I'll just choose this one and as you can see WordPress themes are very very small so when you upload them and activate them you can do them very fairly quickly so with that said, now you know how to find WordPress themes. So in the next step, I'm going to show you how to install the WordPress themes. The first thing you want to do to install them is to find uh, the zip files that you just downloaded. What I like to do is I like to keep them organized in a folder that has the name of the blog with the space and the themes. Uh, just because when I want to go back, let's say I have another blog and I want to put similar themes on it so it makes it easy to go back instead of having to find the theme again and re-download them. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unzip all of these files into their own folders. You can have, use any unzipping program. I use a program called WinRAR so I'm going to extract them into each separate folder. What that is going to do is unzip it into a different folder as you can see here. And if I open each folder, you'll notice that there are a bunch of files. So what you want to do is you want to upload that folder that holds directly underneath it, the files, into your web hosting area. Now the question is, okay, where do I upload them? It's very easy. Let me show you. Uh, just in a minute. So in the next step you want to access your FTP or either or you want to upload it uh, using cPanel. In this case I'm going to use the FTP Surfer. It's a free tool. Uh, I find it easy to use. If you don't know your FTP information uh, most likely your web host will provide you with that information. So if you simply download this and you can create profiles and all the profiles have is like you, what is your FTP link, your username and your password. Uh, so remember that I installed the WordPress into the folder called vidtest. Now if you look directly under the folder there's three folders called WP Admin, WP Content and WP Includes. 
Now, if you think about it, themes, plugins, all of those should fall under a type of content, right? So if we open that folder, we'll notice exactly there's plugins and there's themes. In this case, I want to upload my themes. So I'm going to click on this link, and naturally we see two themes. Uh, one of these is going to be that blue theme that you saw originally. Uh, but we want to change that look to have a better look. So here's what we need to do. You see this information here, and if I go up one folder, all I need to do is drag and drop this folder into that area here. So I'm going to drag and drop it here. And while that is uploading the files, I am going to go look at the other themes. I see the it has those files under directly in it, so I'm going to click this folder here. I'm going to wait for it to finish uploading so that I can upload that into that section there too. And I'll do the same to the other two. So the clean blue as well as the networker. So make sure the files are right directly underneath that folder and just simply drag and drop it in here. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Good. Now that we have uploaded the four themes, what you want to do is you want to go back to the administrative dashboard. So at this page, you want to click on the link that says design. Once you've clicked on the design link, you'll notice that there are themes. Initially on the first page, you can see the available themes. So remember that we saw the current theme, which is the initial theme. And then we have the available themes is basically what we download in the clean blue, networker, thermal, and the so delicious black. So you saw how easy it was to upload it, right? It gets easier. When you want to choose a theme, let's say that you want to change it from this look to this look, all you have to do is click it. Once you click it, it's activated. So I'm going to go back here, refresh the page, and that's it. See how easy that was? I'll do that to the other ones. Click on the So Delicious Black, and it'll automatically change that. So with that said, it's a three-step process. Find the WordPress themes, whether using Google or going to the WordPress themes site, then upload them to the wp-admin, wp-content, slash themes folder, and then go and click on them. 